Breaking right now at 4 o'clock, we're getting our very first look now at the person of interest in a deadly carjacking outside of a mosque in Delaware County. Upper Darby police are asking people to pay close attention to this person's jeans and sneakers. They hope it might help lead to an arrest. It is Monday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Chris Dialetto. Sarah is off. That big story on Action News is the breaking update in this investigation into last night's deadly shooting in Upper Darby. Now, at this point, police are calling this crime a crime of opportunity. They don't believe this victim was targeted because of his faith. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin has been following this story all day long today. She's live now in Upper Darby with the update. We just got Caroline. Well, Brian and Christy, friends of the victim, tell us he had every intention of coming to this mosque on Sunday night to pray, but he never made it inside. Police tell us this afternoon they have no indication that this was a hate crime, but nonetheless, this is a tragedy for this community. I could not ask for a person better than him. Friends of 65 year old Mahabu Brahman say he was a kind man, a father of three and a husband shot and killed in an apparent carjacking in Upper Darby last night. No one deserves what happened to him last night. Upper Darby police say they responded to a report of shots fired around 745 on Sunday night. They found Rahman, who had been shot in the chest, in the parking lot behind the Upper Darby Islamic Center, where about 150 people had gathered to pray. Investigators tell us they believe someone was trying to carjack him. A confrontation ensued, and then shots were fired. Rahman was killed. His car was later recovered in Cobbs Creek. We believe that this is not a hate crime or a bias towards Mr. Rockman's affiliation with this mosque. Police are now looking for the man pictured here. They want you to take a good look at his jeans and his sneakers. In light of the shooting, the president of the mosque is working to improve safety measures outside of the building. The additional lighting so that we have more lights and also um, we will um, add additional cameras and upgrade the existing system. He's also looking into adding armed guards and asking police to patrol the premises during services. Meantime, friends of the victim are in mourning. Rahman was a corrections officer who started on the job in November of 2021. David Robinson knew Rahman from the job and says he was a peaceful man. And it's sad. It shouldn't happen anywhere, but the fact that he's coming to pray and this happened to him, is, it just makes it 10 times worse. Upper Darby police tell us this afternoon they are increasing patrol patrols in this area around this mosque for the time being, and they're asking anyone at home right now with any information to give them a call. If you're live in Upper Darby, I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6, Action News. Christy. Okay, Caroline, thank you.